Hello, welcome back. This is part two. So I have done a little bit of brain surgery, a little bit of heart surgery, and you know, I just want to show you what I found. This video will be considerably shorter, and so hopefully you enjoy the dissection of a dogfish, which is a small shark. Okay? First of all, I want to show you the heart. Now the lighter colored, it's even heart shaped roughly, the lighter colored piece in the middle, that's the ventricle. That's gonna be the main pumping part. The atrium is gonna be the, the two darker lobes on either side that will hold the blood, send it to the ventricle. Ventricle then pumps it out. This main, this hole right here, this, this would go, this would be the main artery for the, the blood to go. All right. Now, I also, like I said, have done some little bit of work here on the skull. All right. So, this main portion right here, that that part, that is the cerebellum of the brain. The cerebrum, which is a little bit smaller, is going to be Kind of in front of there is a there is a little bit of a gap there is a little bit of a gap in here so this part right here is the cere cerebrum this is the cerebellum now sharks as you know are great predators they can sense uh, movement in the water they can sense or smell uh, blood or whatever else I didn't note this before. Uh, let's see. Well, it's a little bit easier on this side. Notice along here. This is the. There's a line. It's. I I don't know how well you can see it on the camera. It's not a coloring difference or shading. Uh, what it is, there's actually tiny glands behind here, and that's the lateral line that enables the shark to detect uh, not only the the movement of the water, so any currents but also other things that are in the water that are moving, i.e., I'm hungry, I want to see a fish. Okay, So that's, that's what that lateral line is for. But also, in their... Remember I said there are the, uh, the, the nares, the small, these small holes here. The water goes in, flows over the, the, a membrane, and then back out right away. This is not the breathing part, this will be the smelling part. So between the, the lateral line and the nares, the smelling part, uh, this fish will be able to, do, to, to detect uh, a great number of things in the water. Part of that is due to the large olfactory lobe, which will be, again, kind of, this is the cerebellum, cerebrum, Olfactory lobe is this big portion in here. That's going to be uh, bigger in comparison for a shark than it would in humans. Because sharks, as we know, depend on their sense of, again, smell, uh, as, it, as it were, being that they're in the water. And so, but yeah, I wanted to, uh, to show you that. And... Uh, that's about it. I mean, there's there's more. There's obviously so much more, but given given the fact that uh, I don't want to touch my computer here, but given the fact that we have such a little specimen, but yet we can open this up and we can see the the design. Uh, I did think it was interesting that if this is the stomach, see how small it is. Most of this right here. Is I'm sorry, I said heart, stomach. This is the heart. Sorry. This is mainly the stomach. It's much bigger. That would tend to to lead to thinking, oh boy, the sharks do more eating than they do thinking. I tend to agree with you on said subject. Again, their intestine here is is fairly large as well. It's called the small intestine, or it's a spiral intestine. There's actually the, the rectum down here, 
<laughs> Wrecked him. Darn near killed him. Just kidding. Uh, they also have little uh, rectum sacs, if you will. And those are used to regulate the salt concentration in the shark. So you think shark water, you know, salt water, sharks are out in the ocean, they're swimming, and they're surrounded by salt water. You know, how does that affect them when they, when they are constantly intaking water, but yet they're able to, to upload the oxygen? And so uh, those little glands back here, uh, right near the clochia, I can't even say it, right near with the butt, uh, that those rectum glands, they actually will regulate the salt concentration in the shark so that it doesn't get too salty because we don't want a mean shark floating around, swimming around, right? Okay, so that concludes my uh, dogfish presentation slash dissection. I hope you learned something. Uh, we would have done this in class had it not been due to the COVID-19 quarantine, etc., etc. stuff. And so that's why I wanted to make this video. And so you can watch it, you know, as much as you'd like. You can come back and watch it next week too. It's, it's here forever. And so on that note, it's not a note, on that thought, uh, enjoy the, uh, the whatever videos that you decide to watch after this one, you know, bloopers and funny moments and epic fails and etc. etc. But note that sharks are cool, humans are cooler. So I thank you, and again, we'll see you next time.